My name is Evelyn O. Young, and I'm one of this year's Talented 12, and I'm proud to be a chemist. What does being recognized as one of CNEN's Talented 12 mean to you? The recognition of being one of this year's class of the uh, CNE News Talented 12 has been a real honor. I had the pleasure of attending the Talented 12 Symposium earlier today, and, and to be honest, I was a little bit humbled uh, hearing about all the really kind of groundbreaking technology that uh, the other Talented 12 cohort is working on. Um, it's really been uh, an exciting opportunity that I think uh, hopefully, you know, we can kind of um, uh, work on ways where we can collaborate and solve some of the kind of big uh, problems uh, in, in science and in chemistry, hoping that this can uh, help us to figure out ways to collaborate in the future. What do you do? So my area of focus is on catalysis and specifically polyolefin catalysis. And so catalysts are uh, molecules that promote chemical reactions. Uh, we learned that in uh, high school chemistry class. Um, and specifically uh, what uh, I work on is Dow is a material science company. And so we develop catalysts to be able to uh, make high performance um, polymers, so these can go into a number of different applications. So this includes food packaging, uh, automotive. So when we think about, you know, the um, move towards light weighting of vehicles uh, for fuel efficiency, um, the the move towards um, you know polymer materials to be able to go into those components is a crucial um, um, aspect. Um, and can also go into health and hygiene applications, um, as well as um, industrial materials. So for example, um, polyethylene pipe. So one way that I hope my research is going to impact the world is um, part of the reason that I went into industry rather than academia is I was interested in how to solve real world problems on an industrial scale. And I think right now the um, uh, one of the important uh, aspects of learning how these industrial processes occur is knowing then how to improve upon them. And so do we have the best process now? Not necessarily. Um, but if you understand how it works and kind of what infrastructure is in place, what it takes to be able to improve upon it, this is how we uh, are able to, to solve some of the uh, tough uh, challenges um, in, our, in our field. What originally got you interested in chemistry? I went to a high school in New York City, and so I went to a school that had over 4,000 uh, students. And um, at the time, you know, even though I knew I was interested in math and science, it was a little bit difficult to know what exactly that meant. And uh, to be able to find that type of mentorship was just a little bit challenging. And so definitely my teachers in high school um, did a lot to at least um, nurture that interest in, in math and science. But it wasn't until I got to undergraduate and I went to a, a primarily um, undergraduate institution, Amherst College, uh, where that was the first opportunity I had to work in a lab. And it was my chemistry professor who gave me the opportunity to work in her lab that summer. And as they would say, the rest is history um, because of the smaller nature of the uh, uh, um, college, it, I had the opportunity to kind of get that mentorship that I was looking for that I think is, is, uh, was a little bit challenging um, prior to, to, to college. And so um, after having that first experience of working in the lab, I uh, just became really interested in, in um, further developing uh, my skills in, in research and then decided to go to graduate school. And uh, that kind of brings me to, to where I am today at Dow. Why is it important to have mentorship in industry? Mentorship is, is critically important and uh, in some ways goes without saying, but um, a lot of, I think, um, in many ways it's, it's hard to really know what a career in chemistry means, at least if I were to go back in time and uh, ask my 15, 16 year old self, what does it mean to be a chemist? Um, at the time, I didn't have that um, um, knowledge and understanding. And so I think being able to um, really uh, through outreach or other types of educational activities. This is something that's really important to me um, to be able to uh, just give um, younger students some perspective and to realize that there are really enriching careers uh, where you can work with other really, really talented, smart people uh, to solve some of today's biggest problems.